Hey folks, and we came in here with a brand new series of Let's Play X3 Farm Legacy. Um, now, <clears throat> to my understanding, this is a community-led game. I have recorded this already, however, OBS decided not to actually fucking update the video feed. So, it's just a loading screen the entire time, so I get to start a new game and do it all over. So, um, I will probably reference things I can already see. Uh, having said that, um, the audio should be a better than what I had started with because, you know, voice with uh, NPCs was being drowned out by the music. I will double check the settings. Um, I've also tweaked the um, resolution so that hopefully text can be easier to read because, like, the same issue that we had with the last one uh, with X3 Terran Conflict when I was playing that, bigger resolution, yeah, things look lovely. But then the user interface is also, you know, tied to the resolution, so it was tiny. And it's the same issue with this one. To the point where my eyes went fucking square trying to read some of the text. Anywho, we'll go with new game. Um, now you have the tutorials, you have the plot start, the Farnham's Legacy, the standard start, the expanded sandbox, and the challenging sandbox and custom slash modified. Now these two sandboxes require you to uh, complete the initial section of a plot start. So we shall go into Farm's Legacy, default start. Now, I have a feeling these are locked due to, you know, them being a different color. So there's Argon Official where you are in an advanced discoverer, um, difficulty average and Teladi Courier, and then an advanced Kestrel difficulty faster which is recommended one of those two maybe the yeah i don't know but we will go with argon official and we'll get a wee video thing so yeah We are minutes away from this historic moment when the USC Winter Blossom starts its voyage into the unknown. Earlier today, in an interview with the mission commander, Rene Farnham, he told us how excited the crew was to explore what lies beyond the gate and to put humanity on the path to a better understanding of the universe. The prospects of encountering aliens are high, said Dr. Elaine Sutton, one of the biology specialists on board. She claims that it will make us rethink our place in the cosmos. We know that our gates connected to others, built by an alien civilization. But who are they? What are they like? Do we want to meet them? Find out here after the break. This is Julian Kane reporting live for USC News. Incoming message. This is Maya from Argon Heavy Transport 42 calling Argon Heavy Transport 43. Shinji, are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. What's up? The next check in isn't due for another two hours. I just got a strange message. It says we need to change our route because of a gate malfunction. What do you mean? Gates don't malfunction. It must be another hoax, to make us take the long route and miss out on the bonus. Ha! <laughs> Good point. Taking their credits will be doubly sweet. Maya. Are you seeing this? The gate. Hello? Can you hear me? Maya? Warning, jump drive failed. Entering system, unknown sector. Alert, ship systems malfunctioning. System check. 
Autopilot damaged. Conventional engine working. Weapon systems working. Shields working. Duplex scanner not working. Jump drive destroyed. Data storage device broken. Remote connection lost. Okay. So, um... Yes, asteroids. Uh, yeah. Um, I, there are controls for the Xbox 360. I do have one up. However, I will be playing. Transorbital accelerator. The void. Zeta. Oh, that's um, audio. Yeah, so that that stuff's okay. Um, yeah, that's good as well. We are. Please. Urgent assistance required. Mosquito missile. Missile, eh? Ship debris. Cargo bay now contains mosquito missile. Cargo bay now contains energy cells. Energy cells. Hmm. Um, how much storage? Triplex scanner. Really? Triplex scanner just sitting here? Didn't get that last time. Um, Cargo bay now contains triplex scanner. Nikono Fune. Right. Um. The triplex scanner increases the gravidar scanner range by a factor of three. Okay. Um. Hey. What do you require? You healed, Neil. You healed, need assistance? Hey, do you know what's going on here by any chance? I have no idea. I was on my way to visit one of my stations. I flew to a jump gate as normal and somehow find myself stranded here. My ship seems to have taken some damage, all my data is gone, and I can't get in contact with any of my other assets. That sounds familiar. What do you mean? You are not the first. Apparently, everyone has been stranded here. I programmed my ship's computer to jump to my favorite plankton place, as I had a hundred times before. But instead of arriving in Menelaus's oasis, I ended up here with half my ship's systems destroyed. Now I am desperately trying to decide whether I should queue up for one of the few docking places at a station nearby, or fly west to find the research station some pilots have been talking about. I'm just looking for some answers as to what kind of anomaly brought us here, and how we can leave. I'd certainly like to get some answers. I have a business to run and can't waste my time being stranded here. Then I'll continue trying to get a docking slot in the sector nearby. If you find out more, please feel free to visit me there. Good luck. Right. This is this ship is very um uh resp responsive, I think that would be the best word for it. Um, we also have Seta. I'm going to increase Seta to factor 10. Um, Entering the void, Zeta. If only I had an asteroid scanner. Um, although, having said that, there were two asteroids, and I will be probably referencing one or two e things from the uh, other. There's the other. Or mine, El um, Alpha. You are talking. Uh, I am transmitting the information you require. 
Now, do you wish to take the job? Voice hitter. Um, six people is thirty-two. No space anyway. Don't think we have. We have a um. Yeah. I was checking to see if we had the life support system, but we don't. So it doesn't really matter anyway. So um, as I said, I did play this for thirty odd minutes. Um, Entering the void, Epsilon. But OBS didn't update the video feed, which is the software I use to record. And Plankton Farm. You are talked. Oh, this is what I want. The mission could. Yeah. So I believe that was an ongoing, well, not an issue I would have from time to time in X3 Terran conflict where OBS wouldn't record or it wouldn't update the feed or, you know, so it was either, you know, notice it or potentially lose a recording. Um, so it's uh, a reminder that's happened this time. And so transorbital uh, accelerator, the void, Delta. Episodes, really. So, um, yeah, there's that. Um, Entering the void, Delta. This is not going to be at that is dead, by the way. Royal Boron is. Research Station. Um, turn conflict gameplays. Um, because it's you know just to experience what's going on, what's happening, and whatnot. You are talking so, to the automated interaction system. Make your request. Colony. What do you require? I've just become stranded here, and I was told that you could perhaps help me. Ah, there you are. Got everything I have asked for? Wait, you are not Lalundus. Where is he? What did you do to him? I have no idea. Look, I've just become stranded. I just... Let me try that again. I have no idea. Look, I've just became stranded here and urgently need to find a way home. If you could tell me anything useful that you know, then I'll be gone. Tell you everything I know? No, nope, just what's useful. I just told Lalundus everything I know, and he did not return with the wares I requested. I made it more than clear to him that I require the wares to repair my tank, find the hidden gate in this system, and finish my research on the reasons for the gate shutdown. So, there's a gate here somewhere. How do I find it? Everyone is so focused on finding that gate, yet no one thinks about repairing the tank of a poor born scientist. Hmm. I still need the wares I sent Lalundas to look for. But if I send you to find them as well and Lalundas returns, what would I do with twice the amount? Maybe it would be a better idea to send you to the headquarters of my former employer to retrieve some tech and data that should help you in locating the gate. I saw an HQ on my way here, but it appeared to be rather inactive. I couldn't even request DACA permission. The HQ has been locked up. Its security systems blocked all my access attempts, and I am unable to establish a new connection. How do we get in then? I wrote this piece of software to reboot the operating system of the headquarters, and to give us access rights. Sounds easy enough. As I cannot access the headquarters remotely, you will have to transmit the software directly through a maintenance access point in the station. However, there are several of them, and I do not know which is the correct one. You will need to scan them first. Exactly how many are a few? Wait, I don't want to know the answer to that. Well, firstly, he didn't say a few, he said several. Third, thirdly? Secondly, a few is three. So... One last thing. By accessing the headquarters in this way, the operating system will expect an actual maintenance task to be carried out. If this does not happen within three minutes of the first maintenance point being accessed, the system will activate its security measures and shut down. If that happens, you will need to get out of there, immediately. Find the correct access point, transmit the data, and don't get shot by the HQ's defences. All in three minutes, got it. So, um, it's easy enough. It, it sounds like it's tricky. I, I did this about half an hour ago. It, like I said, it's easy enough. Incoming um, message. This, this hurt my brain like something shocking last time because of the thing. Um, I'm not reading all that. I'm sure it's interesting, but um, yeah. 
entering the void. Epsilon. So there's... Yeah. I hope they introduce something with regards to the user interface. I'll not be holding my breath. Scanning. Complete. No aim. Transorbital accelerator. The void. Gamma. Scanning. I suppose this might be tricky for anyone who hasn't played the games before and familiar with the controls. Complete. Scanning. Scan interrupted. Scanning. So I know you do get the station. Um, Space Lab Headquarters. I'm wondering, because it looks like there's things, you know, you can throw attachments on, okay? Scan complete. There we go, it is an IR. And I think I shall You are talking uh, positive. I shall Talking granted. Here. And we shall save it and we shall continue from there. For the next episode. So we'll do it manually, we can autopilot it, but uh we'll also manually do it. Successfully docked. Welcome back on board. Connection to local trading network established. Okay, um... I had some energy cells on my ship. Energy cells transferred. So, um... Yeah. Bits and bobs. And there, there's aspects of the game. So you have um, my missions part of the normal. I am going from a Terran conflict perspective. Didn't really play any Albion Prelude. But my missions is normal. My property, normal. Pilot status, my wings. That's, you know, if you're having several ships, then they, you know, move about together. There's diplomacy. Um, so you gather influence, assign an agent to a station to gather influence. We call agent, call him back, um, acquire equipment, um, acquire special ships, acquire station blueprints, um, bonus notoriety gain, increase race notoriety, negotiate discount, hack a station, launch attack, sabotage factory, steal equipment, and steal station blueprint. Um, so we have a 15% bonus to Argon rip. Reputation, presumably. 35% um, bonus to Boron. 
and 10% bonus to Talari. Um, and then as I'm going down, you have Stock Exchange, which I think is part of Albion Prelude. I'm very sure that had Stock Exchanges. Uh, message Log, My Achievements, which you would have got one and gained access to the Space Lab Headquarters. Um, and there's a good number of uh, achievements with the game. Um, yeah. Right. Um, so, achievements, encyclopedia, empire management, your net worth, graphs, destroyed ships, empire trade report, um, account transaction report, ship browser, global blacklist, satellite network. It's nice to have because I think it came up in your, uh, your property beforehand. Um, and then your advance, I think, is the, the normal stuff. But, um, yeah. So, that's it for this episode. I'm going to save over the first game, because why not? So, um, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. Subscribe for more X3 Farnham's Legacy. Um, this is taken over from Avorian for the time being. I don't know how long term this will be. It depends how well things go. Um, I'll be keeping an eye out for Avorian 2.0's update and then we'll sort of decide from there uh, whether or not to continue this or go back to Avorian undecided at present. But until the next one, thank you so much for watching. As I mentioned, subscribe for more, hit the like button and I shall see you in the next one. Peace.